Hi friends, I am Dr. Nilesh Chodia, Cancer Surgeon from Speciality Surgical Oncology Hospital and Research Center, Kartkopar. So today we'll be discussing about how to do screening to diagnose esophagus cancer. Last time we discussed what are the symptoms for esophagus cancer and any patient who have persistent symptoms of difficulty in swallowing, pain in throat, the weight loss, backache for more than three weeks, hoarseness no change in voice is there, they should do certain tests to identify if they have the esophagus cancer or not. So, the most common test which people come to us is a barium swallow study. Basically, they, uh, they swallow some dye which coat your food pipe and then we can identify whether there is any irregularities there, any narrowing is there, that thing we can find out by doing that barium swallow through test. The another most common test used is upper GI endoscopy. We call it a gastroscopy. So gastroscopy, uh, through the scope, we identify the tumor area, whether the uh, difficulty is because of tumor or certain other factors. Certain other factors also can cause similar symptoms. So we have to identify whether you have any lesion, any suspicious thing there or not. And most importantly, to do a biopsy of that thing. So to confirm the diagnosis. So the third most important for, uh, thing for us in endoscopy is its level, where it is involving upper esophagus, mid esophagus or lower esophagus. Because our treatment changes depending upon the location of the tumor. So that thing is important for doing, that's why upper GI is must for identifying tumor. The second test is done commonly to identify whether tumor is restricted to inside of the esophagus or it is coming outside also. It is involving surrounding organs or not and that test is CT scan. CT scan of chest and abdomen. It is done to identify whether the disease is coming out of the lumen and surrounding organs are involved or not. So we, we call it as a local regional spread is present or not. It also shows lung mates, whether this is spread in the lungs or not. So certain, these things are important because we can plan treatment like giving chemotherapy or chemo radiation therapy first to downstream the disease so it to become it more operable and to increase your cure, cure chances. So CT scan is important thing and last test which is performed is PET scan. PET scan is said to have a must in esophagus cancer and it is to identify whether disease is spread to the other organs like liver, bone, lung, etc. So these four tests are important to identify if you have esophagus cancer and to plan your treatment for esophagus cancer. If you have any doubt, please contact on us on given number. Thank you so much.